Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, um, we're going to discuss something about Small World. We're going to do a little update on Small World. So, yes, Small World Holiday did not reopen uh, or open with the uh, park uh, during the holidays on uh, November 12th. It's been it's now November 18th. So it's been one week. It's still closed, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to reopen anytime soon. <laughs> Small World might be open soon, as in a couple of months, but Small World Holiday might not return this year, which is unfortunate as it obviously never began. And it is the star of the show, or definitely one of the stars of the show for the holiday season, but luckily the projections or the lights out front are working, so you can definitely still take pictures and stuff and look at those and take some cool videos and look at the, the watch the fireworks there. But when the read a Facebook post from very trusted insider David Koenig, who was, um, write some stuff for Mice Chat. He's worked for Disney. He's really in the know. And more recently, he's been right about, he's right about the Plaza Point holiday shop coming to Main Street. And he's right about the Disneyland trams about when they could could and when they would return. So then we need another Facebook post he made about the, um, the, um, the, um, small world. Okay, so this is nine hours ago, and then there's an update. So, nine hours ago, he said, first reports of the of the delayed reopening of Bits of Small World at land made me think of a 2018 flooding of a control room at Disney California Adventure that kept World of Color closed for nine months. Little did I realize how similar the two events were. Cast members I heard from uh, said the damage is far worse than Disney's letting on. Apparently, the small world plume began leaking when it was being filled early in the early hours of Wednesday, November 10th. The problem was not discovered until several hours later. By that time, water had filled up the basement levels of, levels of the attraction and the basement stock room for the Jason Small World toy shop. But just as with the world of color, there were massive damage there was massive damage to the electrical and mechanical equipment that runs the attraction. Fears are that a considerable portion of the machinery, some dating back to the 1960s, may have uh, may have to be replaced and then recertified by Cal OSHA. One maintenance worker said, attraction could be closed indefinitely, worst case scenario, up to a year before everything is working again. In the meantime, security officers have been posted to prevent anyone from snooping around. So that was nine hours ago. Then, about an hour after that, he said, update to the last post. The worst case scenario is highly unlikely. Disney is doing everything that it can to have the world reopen in early 2022. But that still means that um, um, sound again sounding more like the world of or sounding more like the holiday version will not re appear this year, unfortunately, which really sucks. I was looking looking forward to going a lot and hearing the music, especially after missing it in twenty twenty. And one final update, he said, details slowly trickle trickling for the floodgate. The leak in Small World Flume is caused by damage sustained in a mishap, sounding more and more like World of Color. Interesting. All right, so that was your World of Color update. Now I'm going to give you my thoughts. Again, very upsetting that um, I mean, sounds like we won't get to ride Small World Holiday this year. And, of course, we'll, we'll turn to regular Small World next year in early 2022, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Maybe Disney will get it open before the end of the year, but yeah, David Koenig, very trusted source, knows uh, uh, lots of insiders, knows lots of people within the Disney company. He's been 100% correct on the past, uh, lots of things, but especially the past two things he posts on Facebook, the Plaza Point Holiday Shop and the trams. So I definitely trust him. It sounds like not until 20. 22, which is very unfortunate um, for us to smile world. But yeah, I smiled holiday, which dang, that really sucks. Especially for the people with Marius Nights. Hopefully they they lost they lost a big entertainment option there. A big, you know, big, yeah, big entertainment option. Hopefully Disney does something extra to make it up, make it up for Smart Worlds being closed um, for their event. But yeah, this is a quick little update on 
um, small worlds. Hopefully, again, hopefully Disney can figure out even faster than that so we can get just even a, just even just a week of small world holiday would be quite nice. It is my favorite version of the attraction. I definitely like it much better than the original version, as there's three different songs and it's a Christmas cheer, and it kind of changes up a bit. And there's so much to look at, so it's really is un, really is unfortunate that um, it is closed. It is really the only time I ride the attraction. So sad. Again, especially after 2020, when we can ride anything at all. But what do you guys think about this rumor? Um, and are you gonna miss the Smart World Holiday, or do you just hate it and not care? At least, though, good thing is we get to look at the lights, which is great. If, at least it didn't damage electrical to where it damages the lighting. The lighting uh, is messed up, so that's great. And it's still a projection wall for the hol- uh, fireworks show, so at least we get that as a constellation prize. Let me go. Which, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates, and have a fantastic day.